Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Now joining me is Grady Eli and Jody Babcock. I want to thank you both for being on this morning. We didn't have to pull your arms, but you did have to wake up extra early to get here and drive. I think you guys said a quarter to four is when you hit the road and got here because you guys have some cattle on the auction today. But let's, I want to first talk to you about your relationship with your reps, um, Shane Christian, and let's go into it. I mean, you really do enjoy selling your cattle with Superior, but there's many other ways you can sell your cattle. So talk about that relationship and talk about why you choose to sell your cattle with Superior Livestock. Well, I like uh, using Superior because you have so many bidders out there, but mm -hmm. also um, you've got your rep that represents you and and you you don't have to contact or you're not in contact with those with those buyers but they are mm -hmm. and and they're kind of looking out for our interests and I really appreciate that especially Shane I know he works really hard and he does he wants you know you guys to bring top dollar when you go in and sell your cattle and that's another thing we were talking about this morning and I want you to talk about is the kind of country that you run your cattle on because it is vastly different than those who are running cattle in Kansas or those that are running cattle in Texas tell us about that yeah so we live uh, at Walden Colorado which our elevation is uh, 8,500 feet and it goes higher uh, it's you know timber country and and some high mountain sagebrush country uh, it's just a, a lot a lot different than being out on the prairie that's for sure yeah that's definitely true um we talked about program cattle you got on some programs have you seen the benefits of doing that uh, we're just starting to get in on some and I think they're they're going to help us in the future yeah, and I think that's one thing that people have noticed when consigning their cattle with Superior and selling them. They see once they participate in those programs, they do bring top dollar. But you've got the first lot of the auction today, so tell us about what you're selling. Uh, we've got uh, two lots of wean calves, and then we've got a lot of heifers too. But uh, um, this is the first time we've done the wean calves. We're kind of trying to conserve some grass and, and wean a little earlier and, and uh, conserve the cows and and stretch things as much as we can and, and uh, consider it as dry as it is. So. Have you had to change your methods and, and you know the way you guys do operate a little bit with the weather and you know I know you haven't got a lot of rainfall and things like that but have you had to change things according to that? Yeah we've had to move some pastures and you know, water gets short and, and uh, the feed's still good but, but water's just short for, mm -hmm. for everything so. Yeah, yeah, well, I still know you got good cattle, so, and I know people are looking forward to that and having them on the auction. I want to thank you both for being on this one. I told you it wouldn't be that bad, see? Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't make you tell me any bad stories about Shane, so we're all good here. We're all good. When we come back, another special guest. Don't go anywhere.